Hello everybody, welcome back to the very last episode in this world. And I know I sound so excited, because I am, but it's the very last episode, so it's time to be a little bit sad, but hey, you know you know what we're doing. We're going to be starting an insanely huge new world very, very soon. In fact, tomorrow, the day after this video comes out, and I'm so super excited. You guys might notice we are playing with shaders. So quickly, before I get going on this tour, because I am so excited, because we're doing a world tour today, that is what's happening. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm I'm super, super excited because this is something I've pumped myself up for this day. The day I saw Optifine released for 1.12. Fair enough, it is a preview version, so that 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 is something, but we it's something that we're going to use. We can finally start our new world. So I'm going to get some things out of the way. Currently, uh, we are in 1.12 in this world. I've just gone ahead and changed over. I've actually done absolutely nothing. I've just been getting, getting some of those achievements moving on up. But uh, right now, if you guys want to watch this video, I'm not too sure how long it's go, going to go for, but I know a lot of people want to download the world. So the world download is in the description right now. The shaders that we are using currently, if I don't put a link down in the description, they are Sildur's Enhanced Default Redone Shaders. Those are the shaders I'm using. You can find them on, I think, Planet Minecraft. Just type in Sildur's Shaders. You should be able to find them pretty, pretty easy. And the texture pack, which is definitely down in the description. Jancy's resource pack. You guys can get my pretty scar, which isn't mine. I won't take that credit, but it is part of the texture pack. And a few other change text change what change textures are in there as well. So guys, finally, that's out of the way. We can finally get started with this world tour. First of all, we are starting in the place where all this began. Look at that. Thumbnail, episode one, something like that. I think we might have even had a horse there. Man, this world has come so, so far, and I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, we've, we've got a lot of stuff planned for the next world, don't get me wrong, that world is going to be awesome. But let's take a bit of time to just look at what we've done, maybe look at some of the later things that we've done. This tour might go for a little bit long, so I hope you guys enjoy just looking at what we've done with shaders, and just just thinking about what we're going to be missing in this world, and what we never completed. And uh, that's that's still, I think there's somewhat, something a little bit beautiful about not completing it, because of course, if you guys download this world, you can also play along with it. And, uh, and show me what you guys come up with, with the things we never completed. So, this is where it all began. This is the very first survival Minecraft house that we built in this world. A bit of the, uh, chests have been gutted, but it's, it still stood here in our village. Proud. Proud. It's a, it's a monument. I, I, I never wanted to get rid of this. So, starting off, we got that. Then, many people, I know there's still people starting this series today. So, if you guys are new to the series, or if you guys have come from the brand new series, which, when I'm recording this, hasn't started, but... If you guys have come from that far away, that is really cool. So welcome, everybody. Now, as we go down here, this is the second house we built. Look at that. The real deal. This was the most overly planned house I think I've ever done. It's got storage everywhere with droppers, chests, all of this stuff. And I'm finding things that I might have even used, been able to use in the world. But yeah, this, this, is, this is where the first major, not major, but larger project happened. Our bedroom, the house... The downstairs area, which is actually a, a project which never got finished. But you guys know we, we came close to it. Came close to something that happened. So down here was where I decided I want to build some stuff. I want to do something a little bit different. And I had this idea for a giant zombie village down at the bottom there. Where I was going to use zombie villages. And I was actually planning on doing it much lower than what we ended up doing it. And that was, that was something I thought I'd never get to in the end. And I'm glad that we had those few extra days... Where I could try and absolutely grind out so much stuff. You guys know how big that uh, that project is. I don't know if if it's that obvious. Oh, why why did I just get? Is it is it because I jumped in water? Maybe I don't know. Why did I get that achievement? Who <laughs> who knows? But that's all right. That's all right. So that project down there, which we we worked on just the episode before, uh, is is the last major project that we did in this world, and it's it's something I think which was pretty cool for me at least. Maybe not as much, I, I didn't really voice this as something I wanted to do as much, but I really wanted to do this project. Oh, you cobweb. I really wanted to do this project, and I'm so glad we finally got to try it out. Sadly, we didn't get it completely finished, but you know what? We're going to come back to it in our next world, and we're going to make this zombie village a, a beautiful zombie village. But maybe not immediately, but it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So... If you guys want a little bit of a thought behind what I started this world to do, let's just let's just kind of walk around here and, and take a look at what we started. This world was started specifically because I wanted to learn how to build a bit better in Minecraft. Whoa, there is a bit of lag. I don't know why. I'm getting a lot of it today. Hopefully when we start the new world, we won't be getting a lot of this lag. It could just be because this is a, a bit of a flimsy save file. It's crashed many, many times, and it does have a few glitchy areas. But let's just ignore that. So... 
this world was built for me to learn to build a bit better in Minecraft. And I think we can successfully say that I'm building things a lot better than when I started. And I know, I know not only me, but many of you guys have also learned to build a lot better in Minecraft. And that's really just by trying out weird things in this world. Looking at some of our first builds. I, I wish I could do stuff like this. I never do things like this. These odd shaped builds. Just tr trying out really weird things like that. Look at that. Very weird thing. And it turned out to be quite a cool thing. And uh, I really forget about this. This was actually our very... Oh, this was our very our very third thing we built this uh, this whole uh, smeltery or what would this be called a uh, I can't I can't think today I'm I'm too excited to think guys uh, but yes this thing I'll I'll think of the name <laughs> uh, but yeah we built that then we built this and there was a stage where I thought this was all going to be a tree covered village at one stage you guys might know when there were those spruce trees they were looking pretty good here if you guys don't know from the first few episodes we had some spruce trees around here and it was looking pretty good. So this is the main town area. We've got some builds from long ago, some builds from in the middle, I guess, and some builds from uh, a fairly new time. I think that's new, but it's really not. You know, it's it's really been quite a quite a few episodes since we got that. But 220 episodes, that is a ridiculous number. A ridiculous number to have finally, finally achieved. I, I never thought, you know, honestly, honestly, guys, when I started this world, I was playing so much modern Minecraft. I was, I was loving it. I, and I still do love it. I just don't play it as much as I used to. And I thought, you know, I'm going to play vanilla. I'm just going to mess around in this. Who knows? I might play around and it might enjoy this world and we'll do an odd episode here and there. And ne <laughs> little did I know that this was going to be the world that we are going to be playing in for over a year now. And it's definitely my longest running Minecraft world, the longest world that I've at least uh, played in myself. Because normally you know how it is, you start a world, finish a world, start a world, finish a world, and you never actually do the, all the plans you wanted to do. So finally, finally I got to, got to do what I wanted to do. So coming up here, this is our first big tower and probably my most proud project I've ever done here. It took me so long to do this and really nowadays it would probably take me a fraction of the time to, to get the things that I've done in here done. But it, it was a big project for me and I'm so glad I finally did this one and it, it's looking good. So first of all, guys, this over here, you guys might remember from some of the original, well, not original episodes, but the very first few episodes, starting at episode 70, we've got some people here, which maybe we haven't seen around for a while, but a lot of you guys are still here, which is insane. Insane. In fact, there's Dower right there. Some people we see all the time still, and it's just so cool to see people around here giving us such awesome support, guys. And this is something I just want to say thank you to. So these are all people that commented. We used to do this comment wall, which was really, really awesome. But uh, obviously we we abandoned this. So these are these are names that are in here forever. So if you guys want to come and find your names here, uh, you guys can see if you guys are on here. We went up to, I think, episode, what is it? 110? No? More up there? Up to this one. What is that? Episode... 115. 115. We used to pick the best comment we thought, but you know what ended up happening? It ended up becoming such a tough thing to pick comments, first of all. And second of all, it was just a thing that we, we ended up having at the end of our episodes. And I thought, you know what, I love I love to do it, but it's just becoming a bit too much. So the it's it's a nice bit of history. It's a nice bit of history to have had and finished, and it's just it's super cool. So looking out here, there's there's some of my newer my newer work, I guess. Something we have learnt from this series is you can't have the the perfect Minecraft world without getting the perfect Minecraft um, structures like this, like the terrain. That's one thing we've learned. And it's something I avoided for the longest time. And it's really, really something that I've fallen in love with. Making beautiful terrain. I, I hope this is beautiful. I feel like we've got a pretty good looking mountain, a pretty good custom terrain here. And it's finally come along. And where is that sun? I can tell it's going on its way down. We're already 10 minutes into this episode, it must be. That is really, really cool. So, oh. Okay, I was holding shift, but that's fine. That's fine. So here are some of the first few buildings, a few more of the first buildings. This was my idea for a town center. And let me tell you, this is still one of my favorite spots in the town. Three almost identical buildings just facing different directions over here where I, I was really exploring a few different building styles. And we've, of course, lost a door. We've had these villages in here for so long. But this, all this stuff here is something that... I really am glad that we ended up messing around with. In fact, that piston has been there for so long. That was still around from when we had the piston glitching. When we used to be able to glitch through pi pistons, that's why we had this here. In fact, I would pull one of these guys up, take him out there. That's how I would do it. So that's still there from that time. It's a good good little thing to remember. We've got our butchery, our bakery. And then over here, this was a recently upgraded area. Maybe we should quickly go and sleep. But 
This is a recently upgraded area, and I think it is looking pretty damn good. So that was the rest of the market area coming on to here, which ended up pulling through all the way that way. Let me just, let me hop in, hop into bed right here. There we go, right? So that was an area that I had so many ideas for. And the thing with this world is so many things evolved as we were going. There were so many things I thought that would turn out one way, and it turned out another way that would end up being the best looking thing, which ended up looking absolutely horrible. And just so many things like that, but it's it's all a learning curve. Think of this think of this world as me learning how to Minecraft with better looking stuff. <laughs> so this is me trying to be able to build a bit better. In fact, let's look at some of the 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 pl more pleasant mistakes that we made. This town square down here, this this piece here, was actually meant to be a town like a town bathhouse. And it was a massive fail. It, it flopped on its face. And in fact, uh, what we ended up doing has ended up becoming one of my one of my favorite projects, at least. It's been one that's been a very long project, which we haven't quite finished as well. But it's been something that's that's definitely improved me in in the building field. And that's that's something that's really really cool. And another mistake that was uh, that we would rather have. Oh, this is kind of weird with the new 1.12 colors there. Oh man, look at that. So this was our horse stables we built. We normally get a creeper friend here around here sometimes. Maybe we'll get one today. Maybe we will, but who knows. So there we go. This is also another thing. It's it's so weird coming with these new vibrant Minecraft colors. Look at that. The uh, light blue has definitely changed quite a lot. So here we go. Our, what have we got in here? Oh, look at that. A diamond. You guys can come and get that when you download this world. So yes, this is, this is one of my more favorite mistakes that I've made here. We've got here, which also sometimes has a, a creeper friend in it. No, nothing at all. So this is one thing which I thought was going to be so much crazier than what it was, but sadly we kept losing animals, and that was kind of a, a disappointing thing, because you guys might know, moving animals in Minecraft is, is not an easy thing to do, so sadly, Peanut escaped to do some, some evil work somewhere. Uh, this over here, was this Arrowwood, or was this... Oh, sorry, I can't remember who I end up naming this one, but we named them after some people in the stream, so... My apologies for not being able to remember names right now. I'm super excited. So, uh, let's just, let's just forgive me for a second. So, in here, the only survivor is Turtles. Turtles. Looking pretty happy, if I say so. Look at him. Look at him looking at us. Yeah, that was the, the final and only <laughs> surviving animal in here. Now what we're about to do is the most dangerous thing we're going to attempt on this, this entire tour. And that is going down into our custom mushroom, mushroom biome, a mushroom cave biome I think I called it. And mushroom cavern maybe. But this, this, flor this flower shop, this florist is not my favorite. Let me tell you this, this is not my favorite build, but it's a build that I did do. And uh, I think it didn't turn out as bad as it could have, but it's definitely not far from my favorite. The reason I say this is dangerous is because there's a lot of spawnable spots here where we could have creepy friends coming around to blow up our work. So let's hope this isn't the case because I haven't actually backed up just before this world. So uh, it would probably be a good idea for me to have backed up, but let's let's just uh, let's just see if we can survive. So this is if if I had to give you my I've actually been asked for my top five favorite builds, and we'll go through them. This one is one of them. I'm not going to put them in any order because really I can't choose. I could not choose, but. This is just something so different for me. I, I, did, I don't think I've ever actually seen someone do this. Maybe they have, maybe they have. But this is something I've done and it's turned out way better than I could have ever imagined. Just texturing this cave, making our own tunnel, going down here and going into this custom mushroom underground island biome. I don't know what it is. I hope there's no creepers around because this is something that I really... This is one thing we're going to fix in the next world. We've got some plans to make sure we don't... We can build with different light levels and not have creepers exploding our stuff. So this project here where we've got this mushroom is a very special one. And I don't think I've ever actually shown people very well. I've shown people, but I, not very well of what it is. And I, I would like to really just emphasize what I've done here. Because this, this took me a lot more work than you might imagine. This mushroom, if you have a look at what a, a natural big mushroom's shape is, it's not like this. It's very much not like this. Every single one of these blocks, the big stems, these blocks here have been moved custom, like by themselves. And the whole reason I say that it's it's important to know, realize that is if you have a look here, you can see that these have got this brown texture on the inside. And that is only from when you move a cut, like a definite uh, natural mushroom block. So if you check, we've got one that we've placed here. Look at this. This one is a full mushroom block. It's got mushroom on all different sides. It's got the red on all the different sides. 
These ones, because I've moved them with pistons individually, it took me a very long time. And let me tell you, I'm very proud of this mushroom. I'm very, very proud of this mushroom. It turned out way better than I could have imagined. And not only that, I thought it was going to be an absolutely terrible idea. When I started it, I was like, no, this is going to be horrible. I can't get this right. I went for so long, I just couldn't get it to work. And it finally worked. Oh, I can hear some zombies around the place. There you are. Okay, as long as it's just you and not a creepy friend. Oh, that, there's, uh, that, that's, that friend's a little bit creepy, but not creepy enough for me. Uh, let's get rid of this guy with the, the smite axe. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of here. We're getting attacked. Hopefully there's no creepers busy following us that I didn't see. Bam, we're at- oh. What? Okay, it's probably just because we've got them spawning because I'm hitting your friends. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so this area is a very laggy area. We're gonna get out of here. If you guys need my shulker boxes, here they are. Alright, so here's some more stuff. Oh man, I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna have to get used to all these new colors. This... Does that- I swear I could have seen the reflection of a zombie. I think it was just that color in the window. So this was our ammunition shop. Another shop which we learned a lot from. It really didn't turn out well, but we tried. And that's important. The other thing that I really love about this world, guys, is the fact that I built a lot of different small things. Adding in these small things, which I normally didn't like doing. Like, adding in stuff to the inside of these buildings. Putting in a zombie villager in here with a door who's uh, operating on some people. In fact, uh, we had a creeper in here, a stream... A few streams ago, and I almost blew the area up, but we survived. Just small things like this. This is something that I'm so glad I went through with and added this character to the world. It's just, it adds that little bit of life to the world, you know? Finishing up the insides of builds. As much as I wish I, when I'm building it, I feel like I just want to get the build over and finish the outside. Because I love building the outsides of buildings, but doing these smaller things inside. Finishing off the rooms, adding in paintings. What? The door was open. Uh, adding in the paintings and stuff. It just really works out so damn well. Look at that. Look at that. All looking so good. I don't know if I'm actually a fan of these super bright colors. Uh, I'll have to get them. Maybe maybe, maybe the shaders are going a bit extra on them, though. But just adding in things like this has really, really helped. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so going down here, we are going to go into this room here, which was something a little bit different. It's a storage room, which was meant to connect to our dark underground area. We've got... Like, in this in this village, one thing which I would love to have elaborated on more is a bit more story. Uh, but we've got a secret password. Let's just quickly do this. One, two, and a three. And all those three things have to happen very quickly for us to be able to get in here. No, nothing in here. Good. So this is where we're storing some gold blocks. This whole idea was that we are going to be having this secret society, I guess, that's, that's doing a lot of uh, shady operations in our village. And I really wish I could have built a lot more on story uh, in this village as we um, as we were building it. But really, my focus was not on the story. And obviously, I mean, I now could see how it could be very important to have a, have a bit more thought behind why I'm doing things. And I've definitely like I've definitely accomplished that as we've been going. Just adding in a bit more thought, adding in a bit more life to the world that we've been we've been building here. And it's definitely something that I'm going to take forward into the next world. I'm going to be I'm going to be putting it on the forefront of what we are doing. We are going to be thinking about what we want. We're going to be thinking about what is happening. Let's say there's a zombie invasion. What is the importance of that? Why are we building things for that? You know what I mean? Like thinking about things a bit more deeper than what we normally do. So let's quickly get into this. This is something I don't I don't think I'd ever do again. But it's it's cool because I did do it and it's it's a little bit funny and a little bit quirky is we built in these three towers into our library This is looking pretty smooth. What FPS are we running right now? Not too high actually, but it looks pretty good right now So I decided on each of these towers to represent a mob. We've got our creepers. We've got our skeletons We've got zombies and endermen a few overworld mobs I really probably could have put them somewhere else But then as we go down here in fact endermen weren't in the in the nether when we when we first built this world Going into here, we've got the end, the, the nether area. So we've got ourselves some zombie pigmen representing colors. We've got ghasts, wither skeletons, and blazes. We haven't got all of the mobs represented, but we've done a good job of it. And then here, we've got some cave spiders, some normal spiders, some, I'm guessing, witches, and some slimes. Those were slimes for sure. Then going down into one of our first redstone projects. This is the most impressive thing ever. Right now, you try and enchant something. Let's get something to enchant here. Not that. That. Uh, let's enchant a helmet, right? Oh man, look at them levels. 53 levels going to waste. So, you can only go up to a level 12. Look at that. Look at that. But when you step on here, we've got you sorted for a level 30. <laughs> so, this is just a really... Oh. Redstone things have changed. 
I'll have to see what's going on there. But yes, yeah, so uh, this was one of the the funny odd projects that I decided would be a fun thing to do, and it's 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 definitely something that's very simple. And I thought a lot longer on that. I've definitely come further in my redstone abilities as well as my building abilities. Let's zoom down here a little bit quicker. Bam, nice and easy. So here we go. Now this is probably where my redstone brain started. Where I learned to actually do a bit more redstone stuff here is in this build here. This was one of the most frustrating builds ever. Look at that. There's a lot of weird things happening. There's a bit of a bit of water missing there. So I guess if you guys are going to play in this world, you might want to come and fix this. Oh, no, no, it's back. So in here, we had a few issues. Lighting this area up. I don't want to touch these buttons right now. They might break. So let's just go down here and have a look at some of this redstone stuff. Ooh, a new recipe. Good. All right, so this is probably way more complicated than what it has to be, but it was... My first endeavor, my first attempt at building a pretty complicated spider spawner. This thing could either spawn spiders and kill them themselves with some cactus so that we could uh, we could get some string. It could also go ahead and uh, put them into a killing chamber over here. So we flip the strings, pull them over here, and it stopped working, sadly, when we got rid of the 1.9 piston translocation Glitch. That was one of my favorite bugs ever in this game, and I'm sure it's many people's favorite. It just made made things so easy. <laughs> it made things that were hard really, really easy, and it gave us a whole new new idea with redstone. You know what I mean? But of course, it wasn't an accident. It was a a bug, and it's been since fixed, which I am I'm not as <laughs> not as happy about. But you know what? It's the way the game is, and we play this game vanilla. We play this game no mods, no messing around with things, and I guess. That was just one of those things that we couldn't help for. Oh, it's actually quite not, nice at night. Not very safe. But let, let's just take a flight up and have a view of the city. I'm probably not going to go to every single build, guys. So I'm going to go to a few of my main builds because we're already at 22, 22 minutes. And I don't want to do the longest of episodes, but I definitely do want to give a bit more of a, a thorough tour to this. Look at that. Look at that village. I haven't had a look at this with shaders ever. Look at that. Well, like, at night, at least. Uh, with these shaders, like, completed. That was looking fantastic. Look at that. Finally getting done. Finally getting done. So, coming up here, let's let's try and have a look at this village. We're not going to get to everything, for sure. I'm, if, you know what? If I had to continue this tour forever, like, to do everything, we would probably, probably go about two hours, I reckon. I reckon I could do about two and a bit, two and a half hours just walking around this world, looking at different builds we've done. So this is another project, very big project, very big thing that I've done. So let's let's go through my five favorite builds that we could probably see from here. So you know there's that underground mushroom island biome, mushroom biome. That's on my list. This one, you know, I you already know I love this. <laughs> That's one of my favorite buildings. So there's one, there's two, not in any order. My bell tower is looking fantastic. And we've actually done some pretty, whoa, whoa, I haven't, I haven't had a look at this stuff yet. So I haven't had a look at that. We're going to have to have a look at that. But uh, this this was another one of my favorite builds, this bell tower. It's something a little bit different. I'm, I'm not very comfortable building with, it, with this uh, style. Well, it wasn't when I was at this at this stage. But I'm glad we tackled it, and it's turned out way better than I could have thought as well. So in here, we've gone ahead in a recent stream and fixed this up, which I've shown you already. And it's it's just added a little bit of life to the to the tower, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. So going up, a bit more decorating. Going up even more. We've got a bell, which was actually... A thing which I built with gold blocks. And you guys told me. Jancy, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing using gold blocks? And we used the yellow stained clay, which was the best idea ever. And that's really another thing that I've loved about this world. Is that it hasn't just been me, bu me building a world. It's been me and many people influencing me building a world. There's been everybody watching this video, most probably, has had some impact in some weird way in this world. You guys mentioned a comment in a YouTube video. I might not do it, but it might send me thinking about something different, you know what I mean? There's so many suggestions, and so many things that people spark ideas, or give me ideas, and it's it's just so cool to have that all together. So, next build. So we've got our one, our two, our three, our four, and one of these. Look at that. Okay, well, I'll just choose five already. So we've got the underground biome, we've got that one, we've got this one. So that's three. Yeah, four over there, four over there. No, 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 this is definitely fine. I'm not, I'm not doubling up on things. This one over here, my windmill. Another thing I am super proud of, it looks fantastic in my eyes, and uh, I, I'm just so glad. It was a lot of work. This was probably one of the most labor-intensive projects that I've done. I just couldn't get the shape right, and eventually when I got it right, it turned out fantastic. It turned out so, so good. So that was one of my favorites. That was definitely one of them. 
Then, of course, the giant mountains. This is number five, okay? No order, as I say, no order. But these ones were a big project, obviously. <laughs> and they have turned out so, so well. And I'm so glad that we've done them. It's it's a, a project I put on for so, or put off for so long. And as I say, adding in that extra little bit of terrain change, it takes a long time, but it's well worth it. Well worth it in the end. So let's just walk around and quickly talk about what's going to be happening uh, with... We're just going to look around, by the way. Uh, we're just going to have a look at everything and talk about what we are going to be doing in the very near future. In fact, let's fly around because we've got mobs everywhere. So tomorrow, tomorrow I'm starting this new survival world and it is going to be awesome. I, I am so glad that we have so much awesome support. In fact, we are approaching 20,000 subscribers right now. And that is insane for me. That is an insane number for us, and it's just so cool to have everybody here. Literally, I could not have done it without you guys. <laughs> but uh, what what we are going to be doing tomorrow is we're going to be starting our brand new survival world, which is something that I've anticipated for so long, and I'm so glad that we have finally got 1.12 Optifine version out. It's it's great. It's great. And the other thing is, if you guys aren't going to be enjoying that series, it would I would appreciate it if you guys could really Send, send some love on the first episode because that helps us out so much uh, when we do start our first series. It gets a lot of likes on the series. It gets a lot of views on that and a lot of people are going to, well, a lot of, uh, what am I saying? A lot of, <laughs> YouTube's going to be helping us out a lot in terms of search for that. So if you guys could do that, I would highly appreciate it if you guys do enjoy that video, if you guys do like it, or if you guys are excited for the world, like it, that would be very, very cool. And uh, you know me, I don't beg for likes. If you guys like it, I uh, I normally don't ever actually remind you guys to like stuff. It's just something I don't like to do, you know what I mean? But it, it's really, really cool if you guys do. Hey, oh, look at this. You know what? I actually realized I've got one thing I promised that I would do before we finish that. And that, if you guys know what that message just came up, you know what we're going to be doing. You know exactly what we're going to be doing. So coming around here, what my plans are for this new world. As I say, we're going to be storytelling. We're going to be having a look at a few different building styles, new things, brand new things, things I've never built with before. And of course, we've got the 1.12 blocks, which I have, I've told you guys many times that the concrete blocks, the terracotta blocks, I can't see myself using them in my building style that we're currently building in, that we're currently building in. But I've got a, I've got a plan for it. And in fact, the overworld of our new world is going to be all, I'm, I'm going to say, a lot of people ask me for a theme, but I haven't got an exact theme for it. But if I had to say that I have a theme, it would be a, I would say fantasy would be probably a good theme, like a medieval fantasy in some weird way, uh, but not necessarily sticking to the medieval theme the whole way through. So that's why I don't want to, I don't want to box myself in by saying a theme, but just, it's going to be a lot more magical. That's, that's one thing. It's going to be a lot of magic, <laughs> but not, not tacky stuff. Let me tell you this. It's not going to be like me making a sparkle in the air. That doesn't seem like a grand thing. I'm going to, I'm going to try and make it a very... I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's just going to turn out well. Just trust me. You guys can trust me. You guys trust me so far. <laughs> uh, trust me yet again. So these are some things that uh, I am very proud of. The texture changes, making our own mini texture changes in Minecraft. Here they all pretty much are. The water, the crops, and that's about it. So this is another bit of storytelling that we did in our world, which is when I get to the top here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. When we go up one more level, over here. Okay, maybe one more level. <laughs> And this has to be the final level. Yes, it is. Okay. So as we go outside, of course, we got our farming area, which was also started pretty early and finished in the middle of our series, I guess. But this over here, we, we learned very early on in the series that this area was burning down. And we decided to go along with it. Make this burnt down, make all these buildings destroyed, ruins, as if this, this whole town had been destroyed. And yet again, what an awesome idea. Bil building in with a bit of story, building in with a bit of uh, a different style, you know, these roofs. Those roofs there, which kind of pull along to these roofs and these roofs over here, the farming area. So this town is very much influenced by these farms over here. And I think that's a cool story. I think it's a cool bit of thought. And another thing, a lot of people have made their own stories up in this world. And that's also really, really cool. It's really, really awesome to be making something that people make stories for. It's really, really awesome. So thank you so much for, for enlightening me with your guys' ideas on that. That's it's it, From a person who creates something... Let me tell you, it feels great to when people come up with their own ideas for your creations. Obviously, this is uh, this could do with a bit of a bit of texture change, a bit of uh, terrain changes. But, but let's let's just uh, pretend we we got to that there. Now, something that I want to 
quickly go and show you guys is uh, the the one of the things that I am also very proud of. It's a, a little bit of something. This is this is probably when I started thinking a little bit differently, uh, a little bit more different about Minecraft, which is the Nether portal inside here. This Nether portal, I was very very happy with. And oh man, look at that! Look at what the shaders do with this. Looks great. But uh, inside here, our tree Nether portal, which is something that everybody knows. Everybody knows this. If you guys don't know about it, you know about it now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't lag out on me right now. Is that lagging? Is it lagging? No, it's back. It's good. Nope. Oh. Okay, that... I might have to restart. Okay, that's looking pretty smooth. What are we at? Si oh, look at that. A fresh... Si oh. 61 FPS of fresh 60. There we go. We had it for a second. Pretend it was there all the time. So this tree. This tree was a big change. And I'm so glad I did it. It's a very pretty build in my opinion. It makes the nether portals look a little bit better than what they did. Here are some unfinished projects. In fact, I was waiting for 1.12 to finish off this one over here. And I, I never ended up doing it, obviously, because, of course, 1.12 is when we're starting our brand new world. And as I say, guys, I am super, super excited for it. In fact, what I'm thinking right now is I think I'm going to leave the rest of this world to explore for you guys. Because I could keep going for ages. I could keep going for ages. Let me just put you in a few directions which... You might want to explore. Maybe you don't know about them. They only come up every now and then. There's an underground path that you can enter from there. Let me tell you that. If you guys can get up there, go crazy. Enter into it and see what's uh, see what's hiding underneath there. The redstone contraptions are a bit bugged out right now. So pretend you're getting lost <laughs> underground. And then, of course, over here, we've got a lot of hidden stuff under here. Try and find it if you can. But it's uh, a lot of uh, secret tunnels over here. Secret tunnels over there. And a little bit of a little bit of stuff in the world that you you wouldn't normally normally find around the place. So what I what I did promise. Let me let me quickly go do this right. So for our this is actually let me actually talk to tell you guys about this for the last episode. You guys would have remembered the episode before this that we mentioned we want to go ahead and have a grand finale that I was going to work on in str in a stream, which was actually going to be the day after I build this uh, I do this video, but. We might not necessarily have that stream, but let me tell you this, uh, that, that was a pretty cool idea in my opinion, and it was going to be to rig up this entire place with fireworks. And let me tell you, that is not off the cards. We could still do that. We could still do that every now and then. I'll come in, add a few redstone lines. I was planning on standing in the middle here, having, having a look around and just seeing fireworks going off all over the place in an array of different shapes and stuff like that. I think it would be really cool to try and make a, a fully orchestrated event you know, you know what I mean it would just be different and it would be cool and I, I reckon I would love it so that would be something I would still be very very keen to try out in the future what we are doing right now is we are going to be building well not building we're going to be making ourselves a cake because I promised that we would make a cake and I'll be damned if I'm not making this cake <laughs> so let's go ahead and man cakes are so expensive really three milk buckets do I even have cows? Oh, I do have cows. Let me think about it. I was like, man, I, I might not even have cows. But uh, this is something I apparently have not ever done in this world. And that is eat a cake. Maybe I have. Maybe if someone remembers an episode that you guys saw me eating a cake. Uh, you guys can tell me. I know I've made a cake. But eaten one? I do not know. So there we go. Jump out there. Come on into our farmhouse and cook up the cake to finally say that we are finishing off this uh, this last ever episode. That we are we are doing in this world so we that doesn't exclude a maybe future world tour or maybe a few other things that we might do but let's grab those is that three maybe it's just two i think it might just be two um in fact we don't have everything we need we got to do get out of there there we go we got to do one of those or let's just do three because maybe that's the three one i think it's just two one and those i know this is definitely definitely three if i remember correctly is that right is that right no. Maybe two eggs? Alright. I'm gonna have to have a look at how to make this cake recipe. Wait. Why did I go away from that? <laughs> so simple. There we go. We've got a cake. I think we've actually got a cake right here. But let's let's go sit down at a table and enjoy our cake. This table, this is not a good table. We, we can't put a cake on that. That's a half slab. We gotta go and actually, let's... Let's finish this, let's finish this season off. Let's finish this world off by going to one of my favorite places to look out on this world. This, this is my all-time favorite spot to ever stand, and that is on this, this peak over here. Maybe even this one wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, we are, we definitely want that peak. Let's go, let's go to the, the good old peak. 
There we go. All right, so let's just do this one quick thing. We're going to go and set this render distance all the way there, which is a very bad idea. I know, I know. But uh, let me tell you, it's going to be worth it. Once this all loads up, once we are seeing most of our world, we are going to be so, it's going to be so, so worth it. So we're going to place that down here. And while, while we wait and watch the sun go down, really just drawing this episode, this season to a close. What a great, what a great time to finally <laughs> finish this episode. I think we're up to like 30 minutes, which is pretty ridiculous. Probably the longest episode we've had on this world. We don't go very long on these. Look at that. Slowly going in there. So as the sun goes down, guys, I just want to say thank you to everybody for the immense amount of support. It's uh, It's been really awesome to be on my side of it, and I hope you guys have enjoyed being on your side of it. But this is not the end. It's the beginning, guys. I know it seems cliche, but it truly is. We are going to be doing some absolutely crazy things on the new world, and I know everybody's gonna love it. Let me tell you this, I'm, I know it's a bit cocky to say that, but I, I'm, I'm fairly certain, <laughs> I'm very, very certain we are gonna have a good time. So, to sign this off, let's eat some cake, and thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will be seeing you in the next world. Bye-bye!